Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you for another moment to study your word. We pray that tonight you will teach us from your word. And, your, and the entrance of that world will change and transform our lives and situation. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome you to our uh, Green Pasture program. It's our Bible study. Today, we're going to be looking at Jesus Christ as the same yesterday, today, and forever. With all that is happening around the world and around us, situations around may make us think that Christ has changed, that Jesus has changed. But of a truth, he remains the same. He has never changed and he will never change. Our Bible text is Hebrews chapter 1. We we'll read from verse 8 through 12. But unto the Son is said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou art loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And thou, Lord, in the beginning, hath laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou remainest, and they all shall wax old as doth a garment. And as a vesture shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed, but thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Praise God. Our Lord Jesus Christ is ever the same. As he was in the days of his flesh, so is he now exalted upon the throne. God exalted Jesus after restoration. And the Bible made us to understand that he's sitting at the right hand of the Father interceding for us so this same jesus never changes is still the same jesus the bible verse in that verse 8 of hebrews 1 says that his throne is forever and ever times does not alter his heart towards his people because jesus is the same yesterday today and forever Time has not altered his heart towards us. Time has not altered his love towards you. Time has not changed his compassion towards his people. Nothing can change that. And his righteousness is compassion for the lost sinners. God still loves the sinners. He wants them to come to him. Uh, uh, John chapter 3 verse 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That love he still the same. It has not changed. Though we have changeable modes and dispositions and tempers he is not subject to these infirmities but is he invariably in perfect wisdom, love and power. Man can change we have different dispositions but god never changes we are told that god is not a man that he should lie or repent malachi chapter 3 verse 6 first samuel chapter 15 verse 29 this does not mean that god does not alter his methods and ways of dealing with men but as to his character the truth and grace of all his ways is unchangeable. The character of God is unchangeable. The person of God is unchangeable. He will never alter as to his attitude towards sin. God hates sin. He loves the sinner, but he hates sin. He will never love sin one day. No. His character is that he hates sin. And he would also want his children to hate sin therefore we should not live our lives in sin 
his grace towards the sinner who repents or his faithfulness in all his dealings with his people remains unchanged now when we say the same yesterday what do we mean ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 10 if you read the suggestion in the old testament is different from the god of the new testament is a heresy there are some persons that will say what the old testament said about god is not the same god as the new testament that is heresy because the same god of old days is the same god of now praise the lord so some suggest that god is not the same as he was yesterday no but hebrews 30 says uh, that jesus christ is same yesterday and today and forevermore so as god was in abraham's days in moses days in the days of the israelites as he walked on earth with them so is also with us today the god of genesis is the same or true luke chapter 19 verse 27 so the god that walks with this man with moses with david with abraham the god that led the israelites through the wilderness is still the same god today like our hymn that says he is just the same today even as he led his people through the wilderness he will never change he's the same forevermore then the second part of it is the same today in his love is is god's love less today no is god's compassion less towards us today capital no isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 says the hand of the lord is not shutting that he cannot receive us but it is our sin that separates us from god venture on his grace and power and they will prove that he is the same today as yesterday what am i saying here that we should just log into it let's blink up with him sink your life with his and you will know that the god that was with abraham is also the same today you will experience his power you will experience his leading if you will link unto him today and i pray for you that the grace to do this the lord will release upon us in jesus name look at matthew chapter 10 verse 28 look at verse 25 and verse 46 grace is as beautiful in the old testament as anything in the new testament check osea chapter 3 verse 19 jeremiah chapter 31 verse 3 the grace we speak of the unmerited favor as it was with the old testament uh, uh, saints so it is with us today it is now left for us to align ourselves with him with him no matter what is happening we should align ourselves with him the same tomorrow matthew chapter 3 verse 34 the lord will not die or change in the night as surely as the sun will rise tomorrow so will he be present with us when tempted to worry about tomorrow say to your soul jesus is the same tomorrow indeed there may be no tomorrow for us in this sin of sin and death what are we saying if your soul is tempted to think about tomorrow to worry about your afterlife tell your soul that jesus is the same tomorrow the jesus will never change jesus christ is unchangeable in a changing world our world is changing every day but brethren i want us to put this into our spirit that jesus is unchangeable fashion changes doctrines and creed of men alters with times there is no stable rock upon which we can stand except jesus christ though all is lost friends die or lose affection slanders rust of the good name but christ remains i want you to remember that jesus is the same yesterday and today and forevermore things may change things are changing the world is changing but remember that jesus never changed he's the same may the lord bless his word in the mighty name of jesus i want you to pray this prayer and talk to god that oh lord because you never change 
Change every unpleasant situations in my life today. Let your word set me free. Shall we turn into prayers in Jesus' name? Father, we ask that because you never change, we live in a changing world. Help us to align ourselves with you, unchangeable God, even in this situ even in these times of the world. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I pray for you in the name that is above every other name, that the power of God that changeth not will rest upon our lives and we cause us to align ourselves with this unchangeable God so that we can live a fulfilled life in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty name I pray Amen God bless you When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and no more Thanks for watching You can connect with us online for service at Facebook forward slash CAC VOM DCC HQ on Instagram at CAC VOM DCC HQ and on YouTube at CAC VOM DCC HQ you can also fellowship with us at Christ Apostolic Church Vineyard of Mercy District at number 45 stroke 47 Commercial Avenue Sabo Yaba Lagos telephone 0 or 0 25 God bless you